Um, so we're looking at, at, a, at a group siege comp, kind of 4-1. Uh, later on where H2K just pulled the trigger and annihilate people. Yeah, of course, all of that AOE CC. We'll find out whether or not H2K are up to the task. And if uh, Vander as well as Odo can actually hit those targets. There's your team comps, guys. And oh, this one, for example, will be hard, but then Mithy executed. But once these ranged ones are poked down, it becomes so hard for Zven to get CS. And Van's getting jumped on from Miffy. Jankos is here for the counter gank, though. And Miffy is going to have to flash away. Sven already in full retreat is out of mana. So did have the back of the jungler there. Pretty well. Looking for a gank in the mid lane. Tether's going to connect onto Ryu. Got the Q as well. Amazing coming in from the side. The wall's frenzy. But with Vanza coming in with the cosmic binding and Jankos coming into the fray as well. This could turn around for H2K. But with the zoning and Miffy also coming into the mix, we're just going to see a disengage. Yeah, that was straight out of dynamic Q. Some uh, missed skill shots. <laughs> There's a TP, and Miffy, he's raised up the shield, but he's not going to have that for the next couple of skill shots coming out. Jankos, he's going to clear out the, the Krugs while he's setting up this gank. He's like, don't oh mind me. Oh, boy. Here comes the teleport. It's going to be four versus three, as the uh, TP does complete out from Power of Evil. Parallel Convergence, it could be pulling the trigger here. Not just yet. The Soul Flare comes down, empowered by Power of Evil. Mantra is on cooldown. He needs to get some tags. Cosmic Binding locks Mithy against the wall and spins the target. And Sven's gonna go down. Ryu is dropping low himself. He'll back away. And the Q lands from Power of Evil. He'll follow after. And with the Autumn Attack, he'll finish him off. But it's still a negative trade. And he hits a two for two. Two for two with first blood going to Sven. Teleport burned and a setup advantage on the side of H2K. Should have been a clear kill. And this might be another one. Glacial Fish is down. Vanda will not be able to escape. He gets dropped. Defensive flash for Forgiven. Origin are gonna take a tower and a kill lead and the gold lead. And maybe I'll to uh, pick this one up. There is Rio defending. All right, TP. teleport is being used by Soaz. Big pressure on the top, like flash away. Soaz will root Vander in place. The support is coming into the lane. Forgiven uh. and Vander, they're going on a magical journey and Amazing's hopping over the wall. He dances of arrows forwards. There's a lot of damage. Lamb's respite will need to come out. Vander's locked just on the edge and the support comes in from Origin. They get themselves a kill this dragon as well so this worked out really well um, for origin yes they did lose that tower but now they have that dragon advantage especially as lance's fight is up from that oh, teleport comes in all right let's find out if soaz will go down tempered fate denies the tower damage and soaz backs away power of evil's in trouble he's the target brom shield comes up from it he's buying time for origin they're staying alive and power of evil's running for his life time winder and one more z drive residence will take him down they've traded one for one odo's looking for more what a messy fight miffy's so low but odo one he just simply can't finish him up. That's one kill to the tree. The shutdown comes out. Three and one over to Origin. Yeah. So in this game, Odawamne will find it fairly difficult. Like there's a calm with the zone. There's a Miffy as well. And we might have a team fight opening up here. <laughs> the young steal from Yankos. Cheeky. Yeah. Walks in. Thank you very much. Dragon number one picked up by H2K. Ah, uh, stolen by H2K. Yes. Yeah. Origin. I'm looking at wards. There's not a lot of vision behind H2K for any potential teleport plays. Tower pressure is continuing to go. Mithy's moving forward. On the hunt, used defensively as Forgiven's run out of mana, and the Tempered Fate won't do a thing. Soaz locks down a dead target. The Cosmic Binding locks up OG. They get themselves one. It's like, guys, we can't play our strategy. We need to go for the hard engage. Tempered Fate was not used optimally. Soaz going in. Oh, here we go. Soaz jumping under the tower. Forgiven's low. Yankos is also out of mana. Oduwame now comes into the fight, but he's kind of alone. No one really can do anything from the rest of the team. But power, he's split from the pack. He'll jump away with Flash. Soaz is back into the fight. He throws out the Q. Oh, Forgiven goes down. Yankos will be limping away. Oduwame back into the fight. And Amazing's chasing him down. Vanna's is not there in time. Oduwame also drops. And Sven with the double. Three and zero. Zero to OG. Phenomenal team fight here from Origin. Really understanding what position they're in in terms of the scope of the game. They found themselves locked down in the middle and they go for hard engage. That's not enough. So us, he sees an opening and everybody commits. They disengage when the parallel conversion comes out. Amazing dumps a drive by, save my teammates ultimate, and then goes for the chase. Fantastic overall, and look at how quick this Baron falls. It's already secured. Origin are very low. Ryu needs to Valk away defensively. And Origin should be able to escape here safe and sound. A good decision making, and they get a Baron to do it. HGK are just so scattered in these fights, but maybe they'll find a nice pick onto Miffy as he's just trying to push into the jungle. Package also from Ryu might pick up a second kill onto Amazing. He's being chased down, and Echo in these situations yeah, just no so good. This is such a good punish from, uh, from HGK overall, though. Origin get greedy. They, they try to speed up the Baron process. Put himself up five stacks there on that Kindred passive. He up the Parallel Convergence, but this is just to get a bit of shield just so he can uh, take a lot of these creeps. Power of Evil, 
Lands the snare, the Q, a bit of damage there. And Odawalny is being pushed out, but the rest of the Origin not looking to back up uh, Power of Evil. Oh, oh, easy! He gets chunked as he jumps into Ryu. Had to take a step back. So it's going to go down fairly fast. But I think HGK know what's up. Miffy's zoning away, but they had one of the entrances where they weren't able to defend it. And now with the Tempered Fate coming in, they're going to turn around onto Ryu. Baron and Soas have been stopped. Yankos is going to position himself on the front foot. Baron's been stopped at the cost of a teleport. Uh, playing around Baron, they started it off. They used their teleport for it. Early TP, but Odo's not there. Odo's coming through the jungle. He's only caught mid lane. Mythy, Glacial Fisher's not available, and the Tempered Fate's been used. Origin, they peel they away. They now, though. So what's his peeling? He's shutting off the entrance. They're still on the Baron, though, and Soas doing a great job of zoning. Amazing's dropping low, but he does have Lamtra's Bite still. Yankos, both of his shields have been popped. Odo one that comes in. OG pulled the trigger. Lamtra's Bite will help both teams momentarily, but will not help Yankos, because he goes down. One and zero to OG, and they may be healthy enough to turn around. Odawame is coming in from the side. Let's find out what he can do. Chrono Break's already been used. Flash is available. 35 seconds before Yankos comes back alive. And I think very crucially, Mithy has access to that Glacial Fisher. It is a powerful tool in these tight chokeways. Ryu is dancing around on the front line. A flash forward from Sven. He doesn't find the kill, but he's zoned Ryu oh, away. So oh. low, though. Baron has been started. Amazing. Oh, he gets the mob. That's heal. so critical. Yeah, he gets the mob proc, which stays with how, how long he stays in combat. That's how long the proc goes here. 2k, 1k, Baron going down. Oh, this is gonna be so close. It will be spiced away by Amazing Fandas now trying to get out of here. And Power of Evil's gonna follow after. He flashes over the wall, call him Roadrunner, because he's like, Meet Weep, I'm out of here. Sven, oh, he's gonna take him down. He's not getting out of anywhere. Two and zero to OG. Yeah, I was about to ask the question, did Origin make the mistake from initially peeling away from that Baron to go for the fight? Because it seemed that they could do just exactly what they did just now. Finish it and then turn to win the fight. Guys, it doesn't matter. They claim multiple lives here. Oh. And the Baron, go for a siege. So much damage onto Yankos. Sven is playing on the front foot. There was massive smiles from Peko and Nico backstage. So as they're bitten off more than he can chew there. Just an advance, fail flashes as well. Just donate to kill. A little bit of a face palm in the player cams. But they got the talent, they've got the Baron, and it's remaining on four. Rom Kindred seeing it in high popularity. Power of Evil's gonna try and run away with the mini Sivirolt, but you can't outrun the real Sivirolt. Amazing is now the next target. He's in trouble. Lamtress fight will buy time, and it's enough time for Mithy and Sven oh, to arrive. They've traded back and forth. It's a mid laner for support. Odo's running interference, and he pieces out with the chrono break. Mithy's gonna look for a tag on the Winter's Bite, but there's no one to follow it up. Oh, so as so flanking. Looking for the flank. Twisted Advance will be available, but it's gonna need to be a tower dive. Origin have already got 4,000 gold from this Baron power play, and they want more! Here's Lamalkai, and Soaz will come out with a big damage from Q, and Sven will follow up with a godlike kill. Over to Yankos, three and one. OG taking control over this game. Again, H2K aggressively defending Vision and their jungle, making a pick, Power Bill gets caught out. He spawns in 20 seconds with the teleport, but the chase from Origin, and just the, the sheer amount of damage coming out once they do get Maokai connected with one of these targets, immediately obliterate here. Origin, they're actually looking much better than game one. Oh, Even better, and they're looking to take this game. Yeah, they're not done yet. Forgiven's forced to defensively use the ult. H2K have respawned, but Origin, they're not backing away yet. Unbreakable will come up to uh, prevent Mithy going down. Unfortunately, not going to be enough. I think the Ignite may have finished him off. They've got a kill onto Forgiven. It's 30 seconds, uh, 10 seconds rather, before Ryu's back alive. Origin, they're looking at the Nexus Tower. No break back to safety. Amazing. He's on the towers. He's on to Odawame. He goes down. Three and zero. Miffy sacrifices his life for this one. But Yankos, he's going to try and defend. But there's not much A2K can do here. Ryu comes in with a big damage onto Sven. But he dashes away. Dips and dies through the fight. Yankos will be dropping as well. Make that the ace for OG. And they'll be finding the first win in this series. Series.